Here's a quick little primer on how Discord works. Hopefully you'll get your invitation to my server, Prop Schuster's Design Server, <coughs> if you're in one of my classes. And when you accept that invitation, you'll end up over here on the right with your Discord username. I'll ask you to um, click on it and um, right click on it and change your nickname it's on here somewhere change nickname to something that's professional and what I can read if at all possible so once you show up over here if you're offline you're down in this bottom part and if you're actually online you're up here I can ping you and you can ping me your people with professor roles end up up here your role is very important and I need to know what it is. I will assign you a role so that you show up on the left hand side in the proper classes with access to those. Each course has its own text chat line where you can chat with other people in the course and a group voice chat where you can share your own video, share your screen, talk to other people at the same time in your class. But in general, when you first show up in here, you can click on this basic info channel in the upper left. That's what everybody gets to see. And so that I can set your role appropriately, go to this very first one and fill out the form. Once I get your information from the form, I will be able to assign you a proper role. When you're in the role, you just find out what shows up on the left-hand side. Depends on what role you're in. But for instance, if you're in Design 498, none of the other ones will show up for you. And, uh, well, let's take a look at a few other things first. Let's look at the basic text channels. There's basic info, which you can see. And there's a basic voice channel that anybody can get into and chat. Then there's my office hour. If you ping into the office hour and write down your name, I am in your waiting room. Then I'll know what order people came into the waiting room and you can come into here. That's a general waiting room. Everybody can talk to each other. And then I have a private waiting room where I can pull you into my office for a private chat if we need to. So that's what everybody gets to do. And then depending on your class, there will be a group text chat and then some private ones. They're all these are all private to the Design 498 group. So if your role is Design 498, you can get into here. You can talk about project deadlines, or you can have a voice chat as an example. If you're in Design 301, there's a text chat where you can just type questions of a general nature that everybody can see. Or you can come into the voice chat. If you want to make sure that I see it, you use the at symbol and either all of the professors or Prof Schuster. And then you can type and it will actually ping at me and I'll get a notification in my home thing that somebody wants to talk to me. So if you want to talk to somebody in particular and make sure that they know that they get it, you can say at their name. Okay, so that's a quick little introduction. There's a few more things. When you're in a general voice, you'll see that the voice is connected. And to hang up so that you're not connected anymore, you hang up. You can also mute your microphone so that nobody in here can hear it. And if you want to be in and just monitoring, you can deafen yourself also. 
So there's a few things about about uh, Discord that will hopefully make it easier for you to work around, and I hope you enjoy working on Discord.